please join me in our special litany this morning. Holy and loving God, author of life and giver of every good gift, you visit us with your glory and set us on paths of justice and compassion. Hear our gratitude for women who have kept your commandments in caring for the least among us. For all who challenge the economics of patriarchy. For all who negotiate with power and for all who strategize on behalf of the powerless. For the just use of wealth and for all who use their influence for good. For those who care for the well-being of others and for all who are turned outward with compassionate care. For For women who organize themselves, increasing power by numbers. For women who dance, paint, sing. All artists who expand our vision of justice. For women crying out against all manner of evil. For women with length of days who teach by experience. For women who educate, propose new policies, legislate, and activate. For whom else shall we give thanks? Please offer your own voice prayers. We invite you now to name women who have brought their special gifts to your own life or to the life of our church, our city, our country, our world. O oh God, hear our thanks and praise for dwelling in our midst and calling us to serve. Amen. Our next hymn is number 324. For all the faithful women will sing all verses.
The gifts of women are exceptional and often fill a need that only another woman would see. Earlier in her life, Nadia Okamuto was briefly homeless. She saw firsthand the difficulties that women who were homeless had with their monthly periods. At 16, she started a nonprofit giving free period products to women in need. Her foundation is now global and last year focused on incarcerated women who often have to pay for these monthly necessities. Last year, they gave away 5 million period products. And look at Jenny Gaither. She was a Soul Cycle instructor and she had troubles with her own body image. And so she said, hey, we can make a difference. And so she now works with middle school girls, helping them learn that moving is so important to resilience and self-esteem. And it's okay, no matter what your body size, to bear your arms, even if it means they're flapping in the breeze. I received a gift from a remarkable woman that changed my life. How many of us had a miserable time in high school? Yes. Welcome, brothers and sisters. I did too. At 15, I was chubby, awkward, acne-filled, and invisible and miserable. And I was in pain. I had a loving family, but just couldn't reach out to them. And Miss Georgia Egan, my English teacher, saw something in me. Without recognizing my pain, she came to me and said, I like your writing, you're funny. I think eventually you could write for Mad Magazine, which was the humor magazine of the era. And she had me work with the ninth graders during my free period, helping them put together collages and complete their own English assignments. She gave me the gift of hope, of hope that has resonated into optimism and enthusiasm. And I am here today because of Miss Georgia Egan. We women have the ability to change others' lives. We might not start a, noble, a global nonprofit, but we can lift up one another. And men, please encourage us to do so. Thank you. Holy One, help us use these gifts and resources to eradicate poverty and racism, increase the standard of living and health for all. join me in the prayer of thanksgiving. Holy One, all creation sings your praises. You formed all things in your goodness and sustain everything by your compassion. Thank you for your steadfast watchfulness over us and all your creation, that we will use these gifts to help all who are in need. Fashion us as caretakers in your world, that we may tend to the neediest in our midst. We praise you in song, word, and deed this day and forevermore. Amen. This is the heart of our worship together as we share our joys and concerns with one another and lift them to God in prayer. 
With Sarah Carley, we pray for her brother-in-law, Bob Pretty, a retired journalist who lives in Missouri and will be undergoing triple bypass surgery tomorrow, Monday. We pray that the surgery goes smoothly tomorrow and that he heals well. Lord, hear our prayers. With Esther Griego, we lift up a prayer of thanksgiving for the life of her nephew, Joseph Garcia, who passed away the afternoon of Easter Sunday due to complications from a stroke. He was 58 years old. Thanks be to God. We pray too for Joseph's wife, Norma, his two sons, Jerry and Jojo, and his daughter, Crystal, as well as his broader family, including Esther and Marcos, as they grieve. May they find comfort and peace. Lord, hear our prayers. With Paula Mills, we pray for Laura Hahn for relief from unrelenting pain and discomfort caused by back spasms, and for her doctors that they will be able to find solutions for her. Lord, hear our prayers. With Paula Delap Padilla, we pray for Barbara Dressen as she mourns the death of her brother, Carlton McKenney, who passed away this past week in New York State. Lord, hear our prayers. We also lift up a prayer of thanksgiving in celebration of the good long life of Donna Barr, who died on Monday. She was a charter member of St. Andrew and also served the congregation as a deacon. Thanks be to God. Susan and I ask for prayers for Catherine, a dear friend on the East Coast who has had a recurrence of cancer which is untreatable. Lord, hear our prayers. With Kurt Nolte, we pray for Bronwyn Wilson, who broke her ankle when they were hiking. We pray that she will heal quickly. Lord, hear our prayers. With Jackie Meese, we pray for her daughter and son-in-law, Gabby and Curtis, for safe travels as they drive from Oregon to Trinidad, New Mexico to begin their lives in the Rocky Mountain West. Lord, hear our prayers. Gail and Jake Spidel give thanks for everyone's prayers for Jake's sister, Sandy. She has been discharged from the hospital and is at home on medications to control her atrial fibrillation. They are grateful that Sandy didn't require any other interventions to return her heart rate to an acceptable range. We talked with her yesterday, and she's feeling well. Thanks be to God. We pray, too, for the Spidal's friends, Jay and Nina, who visited them a week ago. They left last Saturday to continue their travels to Arizona, but after arriving there, Jay and Nina both came down with serious food poisoning, which required hospital hospitalization for both of them. They have recovered, and are leaving tomorrow to return to their home in Bella Vista, Arkansas. We pray for their continued improvement and for safe travels. Lord, hear our prayers. With Victoria Lopez, we lift up a prayer of thanksgiving for Valerie Dalton, who does so much and brings joy to so many. Thanks be to God. And Bruce Green gives thanks for all the people at St. Andrew who offered prayers for Pierce as he settled in California. He is working full time and very happy the prayers worked. Thanks be to God. Holy One, each life has been shaped and touched by women. Women's stories may have been ignored or forgotten, but today we claim their worth. We give thanks for all women who have been part of your holy story, all women who form a tree of life, for leaders and liberators like Miriam, Deborah, and Esther, for poets and prophets like Hulda, Anna, Mary, and Hannah, 
for apostles and activists like Mary Magdalene, Lydia, and Priscilla, for the named and the nameless, all vital to the story. As we celebrate and give thanks for the achievements of women, we remember the women who have played a part in our lives, those who have nurtured us, taught us, inspired us, loved us. Forgive us when we have limited women through inequality, by stereotype, by exclusion, through lack of opportunity. As we acknowledge the challenges women still face, we pray that all women may know equality of health care, of education, of wealth, of prospects. We pray that all women may know themselves to be respected, safe, included, empowered. We ask these things in the name of Jesus, in whom there is neither male nor female. Amen. Now I would ask you to join me in the Lord's Prayer Litany. This is a version of the Lord's Prayer written by John Philip Newell um, when he was at Casa del Sol at Ghost Ranch. God of all being, Mother of life, Father of the universe, your name is sacred beyond speaking. May we know your presence. May your longings be our longings in heart and action. May there be food for the human family today and for the whole earth community. Forgive us the falseness of what we have done as we forgive those who are untrue to us. Do not forsake us in our time of conflict, but lead us into new beginnings. For the light of life, the vitality, and the glory of life are yours now and forever. Amen. She stored, behold the handmaid of the Lord. Make us the bread, Mary, Mary, make us the bread we need to be fed. The baker woman took the road which led to Bethlehem, the house of bread. To knead the bread, she labored through the night and brought it forth about midnight. Bake us the bread, Mary, Mary, bake us the bread we need to be fed. She baked the bread for thirty years by the fire of her love and the salt of her tears by the warmth of a heart so tender and bright. The bread was golden brown and white. Bring us the bread, Mary, Mary, bring us the bread we need to be fed. After thirty years the bread was done, it hit him to town by her only son. The
the soft white bread to be given free to the hungry people of Galilee. Give us the bread, Mary, Mary. Give us the bread we need to be fed. For thirty coins the bread was sold, a thousand teeth so cold, so cold, tore it to pieces on a Friday noon. When the sun turned black and red the moon, break us the bread, Mary, And when she saw the bread so white, the living bread she had made at night, devoured as wolves might devour a sheep, the baker woman began to weep. Weep for the bread, Mary, Mary, weep for the bread we need to be fed but the baker woman's only son appeared to his friends when three days had gone on the road we stood and they all said that they knew he did the breaking of bread Lift up your head, Mary, Mary, lift up your head, for now we've been fed. Lift up your head, Mary, Mary, lift up your head, for now we've been fed. Lift up your head. Come now, the table is prepared, the bread is baked, the wine is poured, all are invited, for this is the Lord's table, open to all. Holy One, we praise you. We bless you for creating the whole world, for your covenant promises to us, your people and for the gift of Jesus, your love made flesh. Born of Mary, Jesus shares our humanity. Eating with the low and the lowly, he welcomes us all. Leading his followers, he guides us. Dying on the cross, he redeems us. Risen from the dead, he gives new life. With thanksgiving, we take this bread and this cup and proclaim his death and resurrection. Receive our offering of praise. Send us your Holy Spirit that this me meal may be blessed and we, your people, may become one. Unite us in faith, inspire us to love, encourage us to share our gifts, that we may receive Christ in this holy banquet. We praise you, God, our creator, with Jesus the Christ, and filled with the Holy Spirit, we give you thanks. Amen. On the night of his arrest, Jesus took bread and he broke it. 
and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup. saying, this cup is the new covenant sealed in my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. For whenever we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the gift of Jesus and his death in life and in death, and the joy of celebrating the resurrection. <clears throat> For those of you at home, please take your bread. We will hold it until we're ready. Everyone is served. Oh. the bread of life for you. The cup of salvation. Let us pray together. Gracious God, you renew us at your table with the bread of life. May this food strengthen us in love and help us to live out our lives in the service to you and to each other. We ask in the name of Jesus the Christ, who leads us in the dance of life. Amen. Our closing hymn this morning is number 157, I Danced in the Morning. We'll sing all verses. <clears throat>
Sabbath and I joined the name the holy people said it was a shame they went and they stood up and they hung me high and left me there on a cross to die dance there wherever you may be I am the Lord Now go in peace and remember, by the goodness of God we are born, by the providence of God we are kept all the day long, and by the love of God we are redeemed. Alleluia. Amen. Be gentle in spirit, be kind and be true. Let grace be reflected in all that you do. With tender compassion, embrace each new day. Be gentle in spirit, 
Be gentle in spirit. Be gentle in spirit. For that is love.